Hey, Gary here with you on day 23. We're going to jump into the Universe Unriddled blog post tracker. We're writing with ChatGPT, keyword from ChatGPT, and we are creating more content around the Big Bang Theory inside of Cosmology Basics. Simply going to grab that or copy that Big Bang Theory evidence keyword, and we're going to go back into ChatGPT. You can see the table here inside of this chat that I'm having for Cosmology and the Big Bang Theory. This is the current post that we have for the Big Bang Theory overview. I had a little conversation here. I said, thanks for that or great. The next blog post will be using the main keyword, Big Bang Theory Evidence, which I have copied in the buffer from the spreadsheet. Please prepare yourself as an expert in the Big Bang Theory by telling me what that person would be called and what they would do for a living to be considered an expert. Honestly, the reason I'm doing this, I don't think or I don't put much weight in the prepare yourself to act as prompts. I think that it's going to pull from that repository no matter what when you ask it the question. But it does help sort of level out the system or the chat. And also me personally, if I ask it questions and I get in this frame of mind as, okay, I'm having a chat with you about the Big Bang Theory. Tell me a little bit about the expert that maybe I would be getting the information from if I was interviewing that person because you can use this as a way of doing research and that's really what we're doing sort of in the same way just like your AI is an assistant to you to be a blog the AI can also assist you as an expert by utilizing its knowledge and then you can sort of set that expectation of the chat and yourself of understanding what it is you're talking about and then you're ready to go and it says here as an expert or an expert in the Big Bang Theory would typically be called a cosmologist or an astrophysicist. And then it goes on to explain some more there. And then I say, great, from now on, unless otherwise instructed, please act as a cosmologist whose focus is specifically on the Big Bang Theory and is supporting evidence, making them an expert in that particular field. Say Big Bang if you understand this. Of course, having it say Big Bang is not required. It's just, I like to throw things like that around inside a chat. A lot of times I say, please and thank you. And it says it understands. Then I had one more instruction for it. And I really wanted to focus on this. I'm going to start with my prompts. And, but I always focus on this because I want to keep it at a certain level when it comes to creating the content for the blog. One other instruction, please answer using industry jargon because I want it to speak as an expert would speak when it creates the content. But I want to keep it at a 12th grade level, meaning someone that understands or has graduated high school or you know between 8th and 12th grade would really understand when they read it, but also explain it at a fifth grade reading level so everyone can understand it. Can you start off this by giving me a few sentences explaining the Big Bang in this way? Then you can see it says certainly. And then you can see the first sentence. The Big Bang is a cosmo cosmological model describing the genesis of the universe. It posits that our cosmos began as an incredibly hot, dense point called a singularity, which expanded rapidly in a process known as inflation. In simpler terms, the Big Bang is like the ultimate firecracker that started everything. It was a super tiny, super hot point that exploded and grew into the vast, amazing universe we live in today. I think that really sets the tone for what comes next when we start to create the blog post. And we do that by going up to our response manager. And then we come down and we find our write blog post outline and list additional LSI keywords for main post keyword. We copy that and then we simply paste that into the buffer. Of course, our main keyword is Big Bang Theory. So we'll copy that and we'll replace this with Big Bang Theory. That was our keyword and we'll simply press start. This is just sort of how we do it every time. Now, I do find myself and I'm trying not to because I really just want like a routine. Step one, step two, step three. But I found that this experiment is more about creating the content, but it's also about enjoying the process. I, I've seen a lot of videos here on YouTube about AI blogging, and it's all create a thousand blog posts in an hour or 40 blog posts in 40 seconds or 40 minutes. And it's all like link this up to your WordPress blog and press one button. I don't have a problem with people that are doing that. They can do that all they want. I mean, I'm shortcutting the fact of I'm letting AI do the writing as I'm talking. The AI is generating all the content for me that I'm literally, literally going to copy and paste and then edit. But I want to experience the conversation because I picked space not only because I think the 
AI can and has up to this point done a really good job, but I'm also learning along the way and it interests me. I have a basic interest and I enjoy reading it and I enjoy the process. So sometimes, even though I'm copying and pasting the same prompts, so I keep the same style and I try to keep the information the same. So when one person reads an article and moves to the next, they sort of have the same feel that it's coming from the same person. In this case, me interfacing with the AI, but also understand that during this conversation, it will come to me an idea or I may read something and be like, oh, that's, in that's interesting. As I go through the keywords here, because it dropped 30 LSI keywords, then it created the blog post. So I may look at these and go, okay, for this one, give me a table. For this one, give me external links and references. For this one, give me a list of books for further reading. Of course, that's a good opportunity to link out to Amazon with your affiliate link. But anyway, that is the blog post title. The next one will simply come up here and we will grab start routing the blog post and we'll copy that and we will paste that prompt in there. Using a hypnotic Nickelodeon style at a fifth grade reading level, write the introduction and be sure to include all the LSI keywords and grab the reader's attention and entice them to keep reading. And we simply press the button and chat GPT is off to the races. Then at this point, we'll start once it finishes, we'll start setting up the Groove blog. And to do that, we log into Groove blog, we go under post, and of course, ChatGPT is right in the background, but we're gonna make use of that time by coming in here and setting up a new post. Click new post. Here we'll have our post slug. That'll be the main keyword. Actually, I can go ahead and put that in here. Uh, no, actually that's pasted in from the prompt. But the keyword is, if I go back to the handy dandy spreadsheet and copy that, then come back to Groove Blog. This is actually going to be the first H1 tag, Big Bang Theory Evidence. It's also going to be the post slug. And of course, I want to lowercase all of that. And you can find your own rhythm. I mean, I think people get into the whole copy and paste and like really trying to go as fast as possible. And you know me, it's not about faster, it's about focus. I just like to enjoy the process. And part of the process here is creating a blog post about cosmology basics and setting the categories. And then of course the post slug, Big Bang Theory evidence, and then we'll get our title. If we go back to the blog post or the chat GPT that's writing the blog post, we can grab that title. And the blog post title is unlocking the secrets to creation, the evidence for the Big Bang Theory. We will copy that. Now I have found sometimes if I paste this in here, it will add some formatting. So then I'm going to get rid of that. Then I'm gonna open up a Google Doc and then I'm going to edit and paste in without formatting. So it'll clear out that formatting. Then I'm simply just going to select all that, copy that again, take it back to Groove Blog, paste that back in, take out that space. And then you can see that that formatting is gone. It doesn't format this correctly. It will when we save it and exit and then we come back in. It's just a glitch inside of Groove blog, imagine that. But here anyway, we have the post slug, Big Bang Theory evidence, Big Bang Theory evidence. Again, this is our H1 heading, that's gonna be our title. We will write the excerpt at the end. We could make this popular post or all this. We will also, or the metadata will fill in when we add the excerpt. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and save the draft. And then I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm gonna exit, I'm gonna save that, and then I'm gonna come back into the blog post. You can see here, this is in draft. I'm gonna reopen the editor and you're gonna see that then the title here is reformatted back the way you would normally see it. Again, just sort of a quirk, we'll say inside of Groove Blog. At this point, let's copy this and let's click on choose a featured image before we move along too far. Of course, we're gonna go with free stock photos. We'll paste that in there, see if it will give us a free stock photo. Of course, that's going to give us, it looks like somebody's in a cave. I don't really like that. Let's go with Cosmos and see what we get for Cosmos. Then here we got some, just some general images. Uh, I'm trying to sort of keep it bright, but sometimes one will just attract me. And this one sort of caught my eye in this case. We'll go ahead and click that and it'll upload. Take a quick glance to make sure that I haven't used that so far or something really similar or close. Of course, also click here to optimize this as far as the dimensions, because you can see the current dimensions are 2292 and 1480. 
Of course, we're going back to this. I had to Google this, 1200 by 628 pixels. Eventually, I will memorize that and I will have this down to a science, pun intended, 628. And we'll go ahead and that will resize that. We'll crop and select. Here's our note that it doesn't actually change the image on the server. It just crops that one for this use. Now we have that, so that'll be a smaller image, of course, when people try to load it on their mobile phone. We'll go ahead and save that draft. And at this point, we have our title, our image, we have our post slug and our categories, and we have our H1 tag. We'll go ahead and go down one more, save draft. I get in the habit of clicking that save draft just in case I make a mistake. Then we will go back to our blog post title. And at this point, we will just copy this in and we will go back and so far, or sometimes you can just paste this right in and it'll work. Other times you have to go back and use this trick where you paste without formatting. Sometimes it'll just glitch. Like I said, it'll just do its thing, Groove blog. But usually what I do at this point is I do a quick cursory, just add a few carriage returns in here and give it some spacing when I do go back and read it. And of course I will go back and read this. And like I said, I just like to do a cursory sort of add some spaces so when I go back to read it, it just gives me a good feeling for the fact that I have it sort of organized and ready to go. And I save the draft and then I move on by going back, hit in a couple of carriage returns and save that draft and go back. Now we have written the introduction. Now we're going to use our response manager. This is a Chrome plugin. You can use any one you want. I don't recommend this one or any others because install Chrome plugins at your own risk. So find one or find anything, any way, keep them in a spreadsheet, whatever you wanna do. There's, there's tools out there you can buy if you want to or free ones. But the point here is we are now going to start writing the blog post. And what I want to do is find, and I thought I had this right in front of me. And this is the one I'm gonna use, blog post section 12th grade with analogies. I'm just gonna copy that and of course you can read this. I will try to put these all together at some point and give them to you so you can just copy and paste them. If you wanna play around with them, of course you can read them here in the video. Now write, and I go back up, and this is just sort of how I do it. I copy this and then I add this in here. And you can see here that I'm going to say, write number two, cosmic microwave background. Please go deep into the subject as if you were teaching a 12th grade high school class. I did set that in the chat earlier about the 12th grade class and the fifth grade reading level. Also set that expectation of being an expert in the field. So we'll just go with this and see what we get. And of course, we're gonna read this, make sure it makes sense, make sure we can read it. Of course, that's why it's at a fifth grade level to make sure that I can read it. And then we'll go ahead and we will go ahead and submit. You can also say, I, or you can also see here, I've added interesting and interesting analogies and real world examples where they make sense to help the explanation of the information. This is where if I think a section needs a table, I will just say create a table for that section or for that subsection. I didn't really add that into the prompt because most of the time I just use this and then I just submit and I let it write. And then if I'm reading it and I think, well, that would be a good place to sort of summarize and create an at a glance table. And then of course, create that CSS and HTML code that we're pasting in. I, I go ahead and do that. Again, I'm not trying to make this where we're going at just blinding speed and make it all about the fact that it's just fast, 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 fast as we can go so we can get these posts up. I do want them to be, I have put my name on this. I'm not hiding behind some avatar or creating some image using AI of a person and pretending to be an expert. I am letting people know that I am doing this, utilizing the AI because I have a basic interest in this information and I want to share it or share the process of me creating the conversations inside of the AI and then taking that information and sharing it to the space world overall. Like I'm doing here, I'm sharing this with you as a marketer, how to create this type of content as a traffic source to potentially generate traffic to get people over to offers and then build a list of people that are interested in the subject if you're interested in it and you wanna create a passion project around this and really dive deep, this is a great way to get started. But this also can just be a side project where you can just use the AI to generate the content. I'm not saying you have to do it the way I'm doing it. This case study is just me showing you what I'm doing. 
All right, so back to that, and you can see here it generated that, and it has the H2, and these are gonna be H3s right here, and we will copy that into the clipboard. I like that new feature that ChatGPT added where I can just hit copy, although sometimes I still find myself highlighting and doing a copy like this, but they have this little clipboard. We'll go back to Groove Blog, and we will simply just paste that in. You can see here it does a pretty good job of pasting that in. Early on, I did see a, a bug, but that was with me using my text editor. I found that I can go straight from ChatGPT inside of the blog post editor and do it like this, and it seems to be working now. I'm gonna go ahead and make that the H2. Of course, this is going to be the H3. So we will double click all that and make that the H3. And we'll come down here, give this a little space, make this the H3 right here. And then we will, again, like I said, go ahead and make some space there. Again, I go through these first and I just say real quick at a cursory glance, I sort of do it like that. And you can see here, get ready space detectives. We're about to investigate one of the most important clues to help prove the Big Bang Theory, the Cosmic Microwave Background or CMB for short. And of course that looks like a perfect spot for a carriage return as well. And then we go ahead and we save that draft. Now we'll go back to this and again, we're going to go up. Typically what I do is I just copy this and it keeps me on track because it'll have the last section I worked on versus going up here to the response manager and copying it again. Keeps me from having to go back and forth. And then you can see here that we are going to be on number three. Again, based upon the last one I copied and pasted in right here. And then I will go ahead and let that go. And it's just gonna keep chugging along. You can also just sort of take a cursory glance at these and say, okay, sort of get ready in your mind. Like, are there any here? Are there any in here that could use a table? If we get to this one, or when we get to this one, mapping the universe's history, once it starts mapping this universe, universe's history and it provides that timeline, I think that will make a good table. And at this point, that's the only thing that I found it can create is a table like that. There might be something else that I'm missing. If anybody knows, let me know of a different type of sort of HTML, CSS format that it could make. And I might test playing around with like having it give an idea for an infographic or something like that of that nature later on down the road. But when we get to this one, we will create a table and we'll roll with that. But for now, we're just going to let it write this. And did it already finish? Yeah, it's going pretty fast today. We'll go ahead and again, hit that little copy and we'll go back and we will go ahead and enter that. And again, we are making this the, if I click that correctly, we are making this the H2. Then we were just given these carriage returns. And there may be a way to prompt this to make these or to write it and to make these already in the HTML. I just found that with what I've gotten and I've tried to create some prompts to create it like Koala does where we copy and paste from Koala and we get our credit credit we get our Koala credits back today and I'm going to be showing you that tomorrow because I want to go back into Rank IQ and look at some fun fact stuff to really utilize I think what is the power of Koala for those types of posts and also look at the Amazon roundups for some of the things that we can do with those fun facts especially with books and further reading but I found that with ChatGPT and the interface for GrooveBlog, if I do it this way, and I think I made this H3, yeah, that's supposed to be an H3. This one is supposed to be an H3 as well. Let me go ahead, I'm talking and trying to do the same time, go back. Yes, cosmic inflation is the H2, because it's heading three, then A and B. So go back, and we have those. This is the H2, this is the H3, and then this is the H3. And then we'll break that up. And then of course we will continue. But at this point, I'm gonna save that draft and I'm going to wrap this up and then come back. We're going to, or I'm gonna show you the finished product here of what I've done, because this is just gonna be more of that. And like I said, creating the table for the ones that make sense and doing some external linking. I'll show you all that tomorrow. We can just walk through that a little more quickly. And then we'll dive back into Koala and Rank IQ, looking at some of those fun facts that Rank IQ has given me as far as the keywords. And then we'll play around with that and dive deeper into this. Day 23, 24, 25 and keep rolling. 
anything, any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.